let's get a little sexy with some Charlotte Tilbury products. It's all about that runway bridal editorial model look today. So let's go ahead and get started. It started with this new lipstick. This is the new Charlotte Tilbury Air Blur. And then shopping at Sephora, I noticed there was a couple other things that I needed to replenish or try. So we're going to create the sexy glow that only Miss Tilbury can do with her products. So I already put on my Chantecaille Rose Glow Face Tint Priming Moisturizer, and I have on my Vita Lumiere Chanel. This is the color 20 Claire Foundation. And I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Radiant Concealer. This is in the number 3.5. We're gonna do a sculpting technique that Miss Mary Phillips, the makeup artist, recommends for lifting and brightening. It's three spots here here and here and you take a sponge you work on the side of the nose you bring it in a bit on the inner corner and then you work up and out and that should create the illusion of a lift and brightening effect as well so you guys can see the difference should create a natural highlight. For instance, this is going to look darker just because this is brighter now. So it creates a natural contour highlight look. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the contour stick. Now there are so many products that I show you guys and so many products that I buy that I forget what I show you and what I haven't. And I looked through my videos and realized I hadn't shown you guys these beauties. Here's the contour stick, the highlighter, and the blush. They're convenient, they're beautifully formulated, and they have that very glowy complexion that they give. But let's go ahead and start with a contour stick, and I'll read you a couple points about these, and then I'll show you guys how I like to use them. So this is a soft focus semi-matte wand. It has a spongy tip. What I love is there's an on and off when you twist it. So just close it, and you can't get any out, so it doesn't leak out all over just in case it pops out of the bag. You twist it open and then it comes out the top. Now all these three tubes that I got, they're brand new. I had to do a restock, which I usually have to do about this time of the year for my kit. But as you can see, I squeezed it and product came out. You just go in and place a couple of dots. And you can use your finger or you can end up using the brush up to you or the applicator, the sponge tip here. I like to use my Sculpt Brush by Spectrum. I'm just gonna work around the edges of the face. If you wanna create a more chiseled look, you can take whatever's left on the brush and bring it down where this hollow is. This will create a very strong jawline back here because you're pulling this back into space. Remember, dark colors recede, light colors move forward. So this now is becoming very chiseled. I do this a lot on male models. I'm gonna go blend this down the sides of the nose. There's a lot of transparency so it doesn't look muddy. Looking at the color, you'd think, ooh, that's really dark. Is it gonna blend in? And it does. As you can see, it blends in beautifully. I'm just blending this onto the brow ridge. How beautiful and natural does that look? The contour in here is so perfect. It's not too cool. It's not too brown. How do you know if you're doing it right? You will see a pattern that is in sight. Yes, that is my rhyme. It'll help you remember this type of makeup every time. All right, so what we have here is dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light. That's the pattern you want. You want forward, back, forward, back. We're trying to really play with the bone structure of our face. All right, let's go ahead and start highlighting in those areas that we see those bright features that are already kind of laid out for us because we have the contour, the bright parts should be standing out now. The product I'm gonna use today for that is the Pello Talk Beauty Light Wand. And this is in the Pello Talk color. This has some oil in it, some polymers, some soft focus pigment. So it looks really pretty and man, does it kick. So less is more. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze some of this out. And let's look, where do we have the bright part of our face standing out? 
it's usually going to be where the high points of the face are. So we have the contour where it's already darker. So here's light, here's light, here's light, here is light. You can go in the inner corner of the eye, the brow bone, right through here on the lower lid. I like to use a sponge for this part. And use just a clean section of your sponge and tap it in. Use my finger, pop some of that on the inner corner of the eye, a little bit on the ridge of my ear. Feel free to go in, which is why I wore this. Put some on the shoulders, on the collarbones. Gives a beautiful look. This collarbone and this one. Just a little light makes such a difference. I love to use this on models and clients down the center of the legs as well. Nice, right? Two products to highlight and contour can create this beautiful soft definition with a glow. You add some gloss, mascara, tinted moisturizer and brow, you have a goddess-like look. So this is a highly pigmented matte long wear blush. Once again, we're going to twist it open and just put out a very little bit and pop a couple of dots on the cheeks. I'm going to place it in between the highlight and the contour because we're still trying to do that lifted look. I like just a couple dots on my nose as well. We're going to put some also underneath that contour in the crease. Taking the same brush that I had the contour on earlier, patting this in, setting it in between that highlighter and the contour, just seeing around the brow to the temple to the cheek here. Just lightly feathering that into that crease, letting it overlap just a bit onto the contour, turning the brush around so we can have a little more precision. And here we have it, peaches and cream. How lovely is the finish on these? I'm telling you, it's that goddess-like skin that we see all over the runway, red carpet, bridal and editorial. This next product, I was so not interested in purchasing. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Lip Blur Matte Lip Stick. That's a tongue twister. Now, the reason I wasn't interested is because I feel like I have so many of these type of products, but this product completely won me over. I've been wearing it for a few days now, and I'm going to get every single color for my kits because it's just one of those products that looks beautiful on the cheeks and the lips, and it feels incredibly comfortable. It states it's a matte meets moisture airbrushed lip look. It does have hyaluronic acid in it, so I feel like that's what I'm feeling. Now the key ingredients in here are hyaluronic acid for up to 24 hour hydration, powder blur technology for a weightless matte finish, and firm forming resin, which provides a smooth airbrushed look. Let's go ahead and try it on and you guys will see exactly what I mean. Beautiful color, right? I just absolutely love this color and I like that it has enough blue in it to make the teeth look brighter. It's one of those lipsticks that I'm so glad that I bought. It was a nice surprise to love it so much, so much so that I'm gonna get all the other colors and I will do a full video showing you guys each and every single color in a lip swatch video for you guys. All right, everyone, as always, thank you so much for watching. You like what you're seeing here? Go ahead and don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up and comment. Those are the things that help push me through this algorithm so that you and others are able to see more of my content. If you guys want to further support my channel, you can help by using the affiliate links down below for any of the products that I use today. You can also donate if you don't want to buy a single thing. And if you guys are doing any type of shopping at any point and you want to support 
support the channel, all you need to do is use the affiliate links I have below. I have several different stores that you can shop for anything your heart desires, whether that's to replenish or to get something new. Those affiliate links help to give me a small commission, which helped me to buy products to continue to do this channel for you all. And lastly, if you guys haven't had enough, head to TikTok or to Instagram, where I show you guys sneak peeks of up and coming products and some mini makeup tutorials. And finally, you can head to shirvoyage.com if you want to book a one on one with me. And I think that's it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for going on this voyage with me. As always, continue to take care of you, continue to take care of each other. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.